Well, hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Geek With Classes Live. Uh, today I wanted to actually do a little bit of a demonstration here for you for a new driver app that goes into your system preferences and gives you a lot of really cool function for those of you who have gone out and purchased Apple's new Magic Mouse. Um, when the Magic Mouse was announced back when the iMac, the new versions of the iMac was released, I know that there's a bunch of us who went out there and got the Magic Mouse um, with lots of high expectations on the multi-touch surface that the actual mouse has. However, what we found when we got a hold of the mouse was that it was very much limited to what options you had. You have right click, left click, scrolling, and uh, swiping forward and back on your pages. And that's pretty much it. We've got no center button that we can configure for expose or for spaces for those of you who use it, and no two squeeze buttons on the side for additional functionality like bringing up your dashboard or setting your eject button, whatever the case may be is. Um, there is a uh, there's a resolve for that. There is a company out there um, that is putting out a new driver app that is free, and it's called Magic Prefs, and you can get that by going to magicprefs.com, downloading the DMG file, and installing it. And uh, what it's going to do is it actually is going to add a system preference option, and you'll notice it right here under your other, under system preferences, and it also gives you a little icon right here at the top of the screen. Um, and this is allows you, um, you can set a bunch of default settings and, and presets for what the different swipe actions and so on and so forth can do. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what Magic Pref actually unlocks for the Magic Mouse. When we go ahead and click on that, what you're going to see here is, um, first of all, we can change our tracking speed. For those of you who got the Magic Mouse and installed it, and you'll notice uh, the minute you installed the updated drivers for, um, for Snow Leopard, uh, the tracking on the mouse became molasses slow on a winter's day. Well, this actually solves that. You can crank this uh, tracking speed up and get some of that speed back. Um, I used to use a Logitech mouse prior to getting to this Magic Mouse, and I had extremely fast tracking speeds, and it worked wonderfully. And then when I installed the drivers for the Magic Mouse, it was like insane. I had to pick up my mouse and move it across the mouse pad three or four times just to get the cursor to move halfway across the screen. So uh, one of the things that I love about that is being able to boost my tracking speed. There's a couple of other tools out there, but this now has it built in, so you don't need to have multiple apps for that. Um, what you see here is three separate configuration options. Um, click and taps, which is clicking the mouse button and tapping the surface, the same as if any of you have the new unibody MacBooks or MacBook Pros where you can have them with the multi-touch glass pad, you can just tap it. Um, you can now do that with the Magic Mouse um, and the actual touch surface. You can just touch it using these tap configurations and then your normal clicks. So what you see is as you actually highlight over, it shows you exactly what um, and what the placement is for your fingers to, to initiate a specific function and you can just very easily select all of these different options that you would like whether it's just your standard left click right click zooming in zooming out um, or invoke expose or the expose desktop or spaces in dashboard they're all very quick and easily set right here and then you've got some other things like the quick look function which is normally activated by your space bar um, and uh, command space bar is spotlight. So these will actually, you can configure all of these buttons to do whatever you want. So clicks is exactly that. Um, a one finger click, two finger click, three finger click. I have three finger click set to bring up spaces, which is something that I utilize a lot um, for my workflow, which I really missed the minute uh, we went away from the Magic Mouse. Um, I'm sorry, but I went away from my Logitech. I had a center button that I use for spaces, so I actually had to put the spaces um, application over here in my in my control bar in my taskbar and I didn't like that very much so I had to always come over here to the dock and click it and uh, instead of just pressing a button on my mouse which really slowed me down so um, again you got clicks you've got taps and you've got swipes so just like your multi-touch touch pads on the MacBooks you now have two finger swipes and three finger swipes and again you can set these for any of the preset options or you can actually customize and set whatever you would like. You can actually create your own little macros for invoking applications or printing files, whatever it is that you would like. And another option is drag and pinch, and that is just like your multi-touch touch, touchpad where you would put two fingers down on the mouse pad and spread them out to uh, zoom in and spread them in to zoom out. Um, and you've got those options as well. So this is actually a great tool. Um, I'm loving it so far. 
it uh, you can set the sensitivity and I would definitely uh, recommend that once you get things set up I would I would play with this sensitivity bar because I've had it invoke a couple of options that I really didn't want just because fingers of mine were touching the the edges of the mouse which is actually part of the surface so um, if you're looking for getting full functionality of your Apple uh, magic mouse I would highly recommend shooting on over to magicprefs.com and downloading this it is free for the time being I don't know if they're gonna start charging or not but if you can get a hold of it right now you will definitely uh, have full capability out of the magic mouse and a full multi-touch surface that you can you can basically treat like an extension to the trackpad on your MacBook so uh, if you really want to unlock the full potential of your magic mouse that we all went out and spent 80 bucks on then I would highly recommend downloading this installing it and start playing around with some of the options and configuring it the way you would like it so I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this quick demo and for those of you magic mouse users I'm sure you're gonna be looking forward to getting a hold of this um, why don't you go ahead and download it install it and leave some comments um, or shoot me an email with uh, any questions or concerns or if you have any reviews or tell me how you're us utilizing it tell me what you miss from your old mouse whether it be the old uh, mighty mouse or a logitech mouse or whatever and if this actually brings you back and gives you the options that you wanted so um, to continually get uh, exclusive technology updates, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, and that's twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. And I am now available on iTunes for those of you who want to take me on the go and watch me on your iPods or iPhones. You can subscribe to Geek With Glasses live on iTunes, and I will slowly be building up all of my previous episodes and all episodes going forward. Um, I also created a fan book um, a fan page on Facebook. So if you do a search for Geek With Glasses Live on Facebook, uh, you can get the content there as well. So now we're all over the place. Um, we're on Twitter. We've got a feed. We've got the blog, geekwithglasses.net, as well as YouTube and uh, Facebook. So uh, look for me on your favorite media casting site, whether it be iTunes, Facebook, YouTube, and the friend up the show, subscribe, and please always rate and comment and send me feedback. Shoot me email at uh, geekwglasses at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.